I'm Tomashibi Anajin. I play bass in a band, but it's just something I do for fun. <laughs> wow, this guy is really, really right fucking annoying. So, He's just like back. a real bassist. Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Bizaster, and for the, at the time of writing this script, past few days, I've been watching Buchigiri, a new anime that's been airing. I had had my eye on this show since a little while after it was announced. It was a new action anime from Studio Mappa, known for many sweet action anime that have come out within the past few years. As well as not very sweet treatment of their employees. It also had a really cool 90s inspired art style. It was an original anime too, meaning that it wasn't based off of a manga or anything. Which also meant that I wasn't able to anticipate that it would be one of the stupidest fucking anime that I have ever seen. This anime is terrible. It has almost no plot, it makes zero sense, it gets repetitive two episodes in, it has the most 7th grader humor ever, it is painfully cringy and hard to watch, and the protagonist is insufferable. It sucks. And I can't stop watching it. This video is not a review. It's, well, it will be, more of a discussion slash rant. I'm, at the time of writing, only a third of the way through the show, but I have so much to say about it and I need to get it off my chest in an actual video, so here we are. Before I get into the actual review though, two things. First of all, thank you all so much for helping me hit 500 subs. I'm doing a Q&A special to celebrate, so check out my Instagram or the video and community post linked in the description if you want to participate. And if you do, please get your questions in by the 27th of this month. Also, if you haven't already, then please consider liking and sharing this video and especially subscribing. I make videos about anime, video games, music, and more, so if you want more shit like this, then, you know, subscribe. And second of all, it's hard to spoil pretty much anything from this show because there is barely anything to spoil. But if you want to go into this anime completely blind without having anything important covered, then maybe watch the first three episodes before watching this. But without any further ado, here we go. Now, let me just say that not everything about this show is bad. The animation is great, for example, you know, because Studio Mappa. It's inspired by that retro 90s art style, and it replicates it pretty well in a colorful modern form. Even though the show is, well, fucking painful to watch, the fights are sick, some of the visual gags are actually kind of funny, and the character designs are pretty cool. That isn't to say that it's perfect, though. There are some scenes that really feel like they're doing too much in terms of animation. It feels like the show can't decide whether it wants to be a nostalgic, 90s-esque series or a puddle of colorful vomit sometimes. But all in all, the animation is pretty fucking good. Second of all, the opening theme, Sesame by Croy, is a banger that really has no business being in this shit-ass show. Third, I hate to even admit this, but yeah, some of the jokes are funny. These are the cuties? We're like they're gonna kick my cute ass! Ah, gotcha. That's really awesome for you, sir. We should go, Mahara. Just shut up! Oh, not you! I would complain and say that this show doesn't deserve to have good jokes, but honestly, they're more than balanced out by the amount of terrible 12-year-old boy humor that we get most of the time, so. As for the final pro, this anime was directed by Hiroko Utsumi, who you may know as the director of series such as Banana Fish, Free, and Skate the Infinity. So obviously, it's homoerotic as fuck. He's brave and super cool. Honestly, I admire him. I've been dying to kick your pretty little teeth in. <laughs> what, you got a crush on the guy? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I love it. And I would love it more if it weren't for the fucking protagonist. More on him later. That's it for the pros though, so it's time to get into the cons. And the first major issue with this show is that it doesn't have a fucking plot. I am barely joking. Nothing in this story is done to flesh out the characters, give them sufficient backstories, explain why everyone at the school is a gang member, even advance anything, and uh, oh right, I should probably explain the show a little. Buchigiri set in a school where everyone, literally everyone, is either a delinquent, a full-on gang member, or an associate of either group. And why is that? What led to this? Who fucking knows? This show sure doesn't. Anyways, our protagonist, Arjin Tomoshibi, joins the fray, and after a series of stupid fucking decisions, he ends up having to decide between joining two gangs, one that his childhood friend, who's gay as hell, belongs to and wants him to join, 
and the other that the girl he likes wants him to join. Wow, this is a really cool premise. Uh, thank you, sir. So, what's your plan for developing the rest of the pl- No. Aside from Origin's whole joining a gang thing, there's practically zero semblance of a story. It is just fights. Now, granted, these fights are pretty entertaining fights, but they are the entire fucking show. The first two episodes of the series are technically different, they're animated differently from each other, they have different scripts, and they feature different characters. But aside from that, these two episodes are the exact same fucking thing, and I'm barely even exaggerating. Ajin does some stupid shit to get pussy from a girl who fucking hates him, he gets cornered by delinquents who take his clothes because silly underwear humor, they run by the teacher, causing him to nervously enter a strip club which is run by Sasuke from Sasuke and Miyano for some reason, the best friend character, named Matakara, has gay thoughts about Adajin, who meanwhile is publicly embarrassing himself and it's hard to watch, he gets nervous and shits himself because funny poo poo humor, he gets his ass kicked by a powerful bad guy, then he combines with this Jojo stand thing and yells about wanting to lose his virginity, uh, because yes that is his only source of motivation, before landing a single powerful punch on the enemy, but then his blade gets angry at him for being a bad main character, then he gets KO'd because he was busy arguing with his legion, so then he gets carried by Matakara who heals him up, has a game moment with him, and cryptically mentions their backstory that never gets elaborated on really, and that's the episode. Sure, some elements differ, but that description almost perfectly describes both episode 1 and episode 2. Why in the hell would you take practically the same episode with the same elements and the same gags and make it two times and make them the first and second episode of your series? Oh, also, about my complaint about the backstory, they are probably making it some sort of slow burn thing, which honestly... I don't actually blame them for, that's probably one of the only good decisions the show made. I just don't like the show, and so I don't want to wait to find out about it, uh, so yeah, that's just me I guess. This more or less summarizes the story. There isn't one. There are ideas, but they just get thrown in, and the result is something stupid and nonsensical. Did I mention that Arjun gets his annoying spirit sidekick after he accidentally Persona 3's himself, and that he apparently used to be super strong? Arjun and these two fucking hate each other, and they are now hanging out in an arcade. Nothing in the show makes any sense. What the fuck is going on? The characters don't serve as any saving grace either. For one, they're all shallow as hell. Arjun is selfish, Matakara's just nice, the genie is a dumb buff guy, the blonde guy's just stupid, and Marito is a fruity and creepy villainous character who's, haha, <laughs> kinda quirky, which has never been done before. And the worst part is that the show doesn't allow for any dynamics between them because they all hate each other. Matakara's two friends can't stand Arjun and are constantly annoying or being annoyed by Matakara because he likes him. Arjun is an asshole to his hot mom who does literally nothing but try to support him. Arjun hates Matakara for some reason. Hell, Arjun practically can't stand anyone except for Mahiro who hates him and has a gross crush on her brother who hates her. Hell, even Matakara only likes a past version of Arjun that wasn't an asshole. Because yes, it is time to talk about this motherfucker. Oh boy, do I have a lot to say about this ass clown. Arjun Tomoshibi is a character who can only be described as a terrible fucking protagonist. He's a complete prick to everyone around him, he's stupid and only thinks with his dick. His only motivation for literally anything is to get laid, and when he's not screaming about that, he's either embarrassing or shitting himself in public. He also talks like Drake. Oh man, there's a big storm coming! He's absolutely pathetic. But not in a funny or endearing way, he is just pathetic. If I wanted to watch an insufferable asshole poo-poo all over himself and scream about how much he wants to fuck, I'd watch my own YouTube videos. Hell. It gets to the point where even the motherfuckers who want to kick his ass feel sorry for him. Uh, that's just unfortunate. Technically, we're supposed to like him. I mean, he's the fucking protagonist. But he literally just sucks. He makes the show genuinely painful to watch. And the worst part? He kind of ruins one of the only appealing parts of the show. The gay shit. Arjun and Matakara are like Reki and Longa from Skate if you replaced Longa with an insufferable, horny loser. Poor Matakara just wants to be with his childhood friend again, and all Arjun can think about is how much he wants to bang a girl who hates him and wants to fuck her own brother. There are so many things from this show that I could complain about. I haven't even talked about the fucking cultural appropriation yet, which, yikes. But the worst part by far is that I, for the life of me, cannot stop watching this show.
Okay, wait, maybe the cultural appropriation is worse. Uh, cut this part out of the video, just cut this part out. Fuchigiri is bad. It is so fucking bad. And yet, I can't get my eyes off of it. It's like watching a car crash. Well, a car crash with lots of poop jokes, I guess. It's a painful watch, but I'd be lying if I said it wasn't entertaining. I haven't had this much fun hate watching a show since Rent-A-Girlfriend. So do I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. I wholeheartedly believe that if you're at least a teensy bit interested in this show, you should give it a try. You might hate it and refuse to watch any more of it. You might hate it and eagerly await future episodes, like me. Or hell, maybe you'll somehow find it genuinely enjoyable, like this person on Mal who gave it a perfect 10 out of 10 after just 4 episodes for some reason. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's an experience that I think is worth experiencing. And unless you don't want to watch shows that you don't like on purpose, because please, for the love of God, save your brain cells, please. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about Buchigiri, which, as long as I don't come to my senses and decide to drop it, we'll probably do a full review of at some point. I hope you found this video at least a little funny and enjoyable, and if you did, please consider subscribing, liking, and all that shit. If you guys can help me get to 1k by the end of the year, I'll be so grateful. I hope to see you in the next one, but until then, bye.